I made $27,000 this week trading meme coins that have no business going to the valuations that they are. But right now is the meme coin super cycle. We're seeing PLs all over the timeline just like this. We're seeing charts on coins like Chill Guy going from zero to 400 million in literally 24 hours, as well as meme coin interest across Google Trends at literally recent all time highs over the past 12 months. So, how can you jump into the trenches? as we call them in the meme coin space and start making money. I'm gonna go over A to Z exactly what I do from tracking wallets to being in alpha groups to tracking tweets and trying to make sure I keep up with the trends because these metas change so fast in the meme coin space. And how can you start making Solana in the meme coin trenches today? Let's jump into it for the ultimate meme coin tutorial. If you like today's video, be sure to drop down, hit the like button and subscribe to the channel down below. We're about to cross 112K subscribers. It's not only a bull run in the markets, it's also a YouTube subscriber bull run. So help us out. Leave a comment down below as well if you're making money in the meme coin trenches. And what are your favorite meme coins as well? Let me know down below. And a big shout out to all of our sponsors here on In The Game. We have Fun Tico, Moon Tropica, Ledger, FOMO, as well as Blue Whale. Blue Whale is one of the hottest upcoming AI projects. Yes, we're all focused on meme coins right now, but at the same time, I think that AI still will be one of the leaders in this bull market. And I think you have to have your hands on some of the hottest AI projects. Take back control of your data with Blue Whale. They actually have their node sale going on right now. So if you're not already involved with this ecosystem, I invested in this project almost a year ago at this point. So I'm excited for their TGE. And that's before any you know sort of nodes came into the picture. I picked me up a few nodes. If you need to grab some nodes before the end of the sale you can drop down below and use our link in the description and look the market is hot right now like 98k bitcoin but it's almost not the main character it's crazy how like insensitive it seems like people are that have been here to this right now we're at as i'm recording ninety seven thousand nine hundred and ninety nine dollars on bitcoin but that is not the focal point and you might be wondering, well, what is the focal point? We're about to cross all time highs. Well, right now, meme coins are the focal point. Like everyone is so locked in to meme coins. Every single day, we are seeing new tokens coming through the door and literally printing life changing money, right? So I might have made $27,000 this week, but I have multiple business to run. I have all these different things to do. And I still found the time to jump into the trenches and make those gains despite you know running a software company, running the YouTube here, because the trenches are so high ROI right now. We've seen coins go from zero to 400 million. People literally made millions of dollars off of this coin if you caught it early. And that is the big thing. So how can you catch coins early? I'm gonna walk you through exactly the things that I do, the tools that I use, as well as the strategies I deploy and the groups that I also would recommend because at the end of the day, you need to be in a group of traders. The big thing about the trenches is, if it's only your eyes on it, it's gonna be really hard to win. But if you're in a group of people who are dialed into the markets, understand the metas that are going on, you're gonna be able to win at a much higher rate. So let's jump into exactly what I am doing in the trenches right now and the tools that I am using. And first and foremost, I have to start with profit taking. This is the most important thing and I feel like most guides on YouTube might not even recommend this. So what I have to tell you at the very beginning of this is they call, there's like names for people that sell early, okay? And look, I understand people want to not mess up the charts and they want to watch a meme coin fly. And I understand respecting the chart. But at the same time, if you buy a market cap at 20K, a 20K market cap, and it goes to 200K, do not be the guy who sits there and says, oh, it's going to two mil, I'm not selling a single dollar. At least sell 25% of your bag. Like just 25% of your position. Your mental will be so much healthier. You won't be so worried about every single swing in the chart because these things can rug in an instant. And to be honest with you, 99.9% .9 of the coins that you're gonna see launching on Pump Fun, which we'll talk about in a second, Pump Fun is where all of these coins originate. 99% of those coins 
0.9 are also going to be rug pulls completely. So like most of these coins will never hit a mil, let alone two mil. So if you catch a 20K to a 200K, at the very least sell your initial bag, but at the most like sell 25, 50% of the bag. Like do not, it, it is player versus player. And that is why also not a lot of people will give you their real edge in this market. So meme coins are hard. It's like a video game in itself. You are going against all the other players on Bullex, Photon, whatever you're using. That is, you, it is a player versus player market. So you can never worry about, oh, someone else's bag. In the meme coin space, that's non-existent because if you don't take the profits, other people are gonna slam dump you get what I see that I did there? They're gonna slam dump those charts on you. So please, I implore you, take profits, okay? Because you're gonna lose way more than you win, but your winners need to account for much larger gains than your losses do. So keep your size reasonable. Don't deploy your entire phantom wallet into meme, a meme coin and think it's gonna work out whenever it just launched 10 seconds ago. You're going to lose more than you win, okay? I have to beat that in your head. But your risk management and the way that you take profits are going to be the most important thing in this market. Keep your losses small, but make sure your wins are worthwhile. Those nine losses out of 10, that one win should make up for all of those losses easily if you're playing your cards right. So with that being said, let's jump into where these coins are originated as well as the tools that I use to trade these coins and make sure I have the best overview of the market and the cleanest entries into these coins. Welcome to the trenches. Now this right here is the most chaotic page in all of crypto. Okay, this is pump.fun. Pump fun is where all of the coins originate in the meme coin market. So like you're literally seeing coins made every second. Like these things are coming into the market rapidly. And quite frankly, like this is not where you're gonna get your alpha, but you need to understand the way that these things work. So currently, people are creating these tokens on pump.fun and it is being sent to other platforms which are deemed as bots and snipers, you, you know, things that uh, consolidate the market that you can try to use to snipe early tokens, uh, to put it in an easy fashion. They're more trading bots that leverage technology to find these coins early, okay? So this is not where you're gonna get your alpha from. If anything, this is where you're gonna get brain rot from, okay? So do not stare at pump fun all day. What you need to do is have a nice meme coin tool that's easy to use and that consolidates all these things into one spot. And that is something like a, a bull X or a photon, okay? So these tools are going to give you a massive edge in the market because currently, like I said, look how many coins on the new creation tab are coming through every second, just new coins. It's ridiculous, right? There's so many new products coming in. You can't just jump in and I'm, you know, I'm gonna pick one here. Um, Shark Boy, let's look at Shark Boy. No data, all right. Whatever, it's four seconds hold. So there's no holders, all right? So you, this is not the coin to buy. So do not buy Shark Boy, whatever you do. But the point here is, this is really the spot where you're gonna see the new creations coming in. And I'm gonna break it down for you here. So the left side is brand new tokens. Just came out two seconds ago, as you're seeing. The middle one here is where tokens are about to migrate or are migrating. So. Right now, you have to reach a certain market cap threshold to be able to graduate. What graduating means is your liquidity moves from here to over to Radium, a legitimate DEX on Solana. So then the coin is on Radium and it's actually tradable on mainstream platforms, okay? So that is very important and that is typically when a meme coin starts getting taken a little more seriously, but at the same time, most coins that even graduate end up just rug pulling after a while. So I wouldn't say that, you know, migrating is everything, but it definitely is like every good coin ends up migrating to radium. So just keep that in mind. Whenever you see migrating here, that means the liquidity is moving over to a decentralized exchange. All right. And, you know, um, we see one here. It's called memes. Uh, like I said, I wouldn't buy any of these in this video. I'm just using examples. So this came out literally about seven minutes ago. Yeah, seven minutes ago, as you can see here. You can see the age of the token, the market cap, the amount of liquidity, 
uh, as well as the holders of 603 right here. If you were to have a position, you jump over here, you can see how much you invested, how much you sold, how much is remaining, as well as your P&L in this position. Uh, you know, I don't know, maybe this would have been a good one to snipe. No, all seriousness, um, you know, I, I do, do not buy any of the tokens that are on Bull X in this video because by the time that you see this, they're probably already rugged or way beyond an entry. So regardless, don't jump in. And you might notice uh, as also a part of uh, the first thing that I mentioned, risk management, you might see right now I only have 15 sold in my Bull X because I withdraw every day. So if I hit a trade, I withdraw profits. You need to withdraw something every single time you make a win. I'm just gonna tell you that. Or else you're, it's like playing in the casino, all right? If you don't take some chips off the table, you're gonna end up losing all of them. So I actively take profits out of Bull X, and I really only keep maximum 20 soul to, to ape into projects right here on Bullex. You know, I'll throw five in, three in to any given project. And to me, there's enough upside in that if you really hit a home run to make big gains. Like I said, I, I think that you have to keep your losses small, but your wins big, and that's how you do it. So I risk manage very tightly, and I make sure that, okay, if I lose all 15 soul, I'm not hurt, and I, I have no problem depositing another 15, but I'm not gonna have 100 soul in here and lose 100 soul that would really like mess up your psychology. Okay, so it's all up to your risk management, but even as someone who has good size behind most of their trades, I'm not in here aping 10K into these tokens, okay? It has to be a home run for me to do that. Something like a chill guy would warrant maybe like a 10K buy, for example. So people are using platforms like Bullex or like Photon. So Photon, uh, and by the way, Bullex, we have a link down below in the description if you want to use. This is my preferred tool in the meme coin space. It just gives you the best overview. I think it gives you some of the best entries into the market as well as it's just a clean dashboard, clean UI, and I think that it is one you have to have in your arsenal. Moving on to Photon. Photon is kind of the early adopter. It was here before Bullex. Uh, I think Photon is still a great tool. The best traders I know use Bullex or Photon. Um, I'll leave you a link down below for both platforms. If you want to sign up for both, see which one you like. It tells you all the details of all the coins, the market caps, all that good stuff. So find a good trading tool. And I'm not going to mention Telegram tools. So like you can use Bullex on Telegram and you can use Photon on mobile. But here's what I'm going to tell you. Your advantage versus others who have a real setup. Like I have three screens right here. I got Bullex, I got uh, wallet tracking, I've got discords, I've got everything pulled up in one spot to be able to win. If you're just relying on trading on a cell phone screen this big, you can't get all the rapid information at one time that you really need to win in this market. So what I'm gonna tell you is, I'm not gonna tell you like Telegram tools. There's Bonk Bot, there's Banana Bot, there's uh, Shuriken I think is on mobile as well. There's some great tools, but I just find it a uh, very negative EV. I'm, I'm, I'm losing uh, edge if I'm trading on my phone versus on a full setup. So that is it for trading platforms. How about wallet tracking? Now, um, I'm gonna give you guys some truth to this. You will not make consistent money by copy trading large traders. Okay, here's why. Sometimes you'll get into a trade over your head because a trader is making a lot of money and then the, your result isn't gonna be the same. Maybe they dump it immediately and then all of a sudden they're not even in that coin anymore. You have to be really sharp. And like for me, I don't really copy trade. Uh, I do track certain wallets. I feel there is an advantage to that. However, if you're just living word as bond that if this trader does this, I'm doing the same thing. You're already late to their entry. You're gonna be late to their sell. And sometimes these traders, like they're in and out of positions within five minutes. You really have to be on the ball. So let me just say it. I track wallets just to see what whales are and what profitable traders are getting into certain coins. Now, if I catch a coin that, you know, a trader gets into for crazy size at 100K market cap, okay, I'm gonna get into that because it probably does have great upside. But wallet tracking is never gonna be this perfect indicator, but it helps if you see six wallets that you track all in one token, okay? So like I said, wallet tracking, if you find my wallet, if you find, 
uh, Becker's wallet, if you find any of the top pump fund wallets, yes, it's valuable to track, but copy trading them sometimes is a negative advantage because at the end of the day, they could sell, they're gonna buy before you and they're gonna sell before you if you're copy trading, right? So unless you have a bot set up that automatically triggers these buys and sells, it's gonna be really hard for you to have the same results. However, it is very positive to track wallets just to know exactly what is going on in these tokens and these biggest, the biggest traders. You just simply want to know what they're doing. So some of the tools that I use, um, Cielo. Now I use this for mobile. Now, like I said, I don't like to trade on mobile. However, you can get wallet alerts straight to your phone right here on the Cielo bot. So it is free. You can track multiple wallets. As you can see here, this is, uh, it's not gonna be like really like high def. I also don't wanna tell you all the wallets that I track, but you can go through here and it pings you every single time a trader that you track does a trade. And that does help you because you can see at least what some of the biggest traders are looking into at the market at any given time. And then you can kind of gauge what you want to do. And if you see six of your favorite traders or the most profitable traders that you follow all simultaneously getting into the same coin, that could actually turn into a good trade. So I would recommend Cielo for mobile tracking. Now, when I say that, I just, I really say just do not trade on mobile if you don't have to. Now, look, I'm a degen. Sometimes um, I got to pull up Bull X. And, and trade on the phone, okay? Sometimes you have to do it. If you get pinged about a coin that's going parabolic early and they think it's going to 10 mil and it's still at 800K, yeah, hop on Bullex on your phone. It does help to have a mobile compatible trading platform. But for me, I like getting alerts right here on my phone for wallets that I track. And then usually I already have Telegram open here. If I don't, I get the ping on my phone and I can then see what other wallets are doing and at least take a look at what's the meta, what are people looking at, what kind of animal is it today, etc. So I use Cielo for mobile. And then for desktop, I like to use GMGN. So this one, uh, very handy platform because you can literally attach names to wallets. You can see their 30-day P&Ls. You can see all the things they're doing. If I just go to the follow tab here and go to activity, like I said, you can see like three minutes ago, four minutes ago, certain wallets. And this is why I'm like copy trading isn't for everyone. Like imagine you lost a lot of these trades, but yes, they hit this one for realized profits. But like, you know, that, that's going to be hard on your psychology, for example. And let's just give you like a wallet example here. Uh, TJR trades. He had 28K people watching him trade yesterday. People obviously went in, tried to find his wallet. Uh, you know, he made 198K over the past seven days trading memes. But you're not going to necessarily have the same result. But it does just help to track high level wallets. And you can use a wallet tracker like this, or you can get into a group that has wallet trackers. And I will talk about that here in just a second. So those are the platforms I use for wallet tracking specifically. And then we're moving on to Twitter tracking. Now, once again, I would recommend getting into a meme coin group. Now, if you don't have just like a small group of traders, 10 people, 15, 20 people that like are just locked in and they're your friends and you're all trading, then I would look into joining a group. And they're not necessarily alpha groups. Some of them have callers. Our group has a caller. Uh, I know some other groups that have callers, but most of them are just gonna have tools, wallet tracking, recommended trading platforms, and Twitter tracking. So when Elon Musk tweets something, a lot of the times it becomes a meme. Um, the coin that I caught at the beginning of this video, HFC, I actually made money on that one mainly because he tweeted about it. It was a Doge uh, Department of Government Efficiency thing. It came out that they were spending money on tax, taxpayer money on hamster fighting. And so hamster fight coin and Elon responded to the tweet. So the coin went to like $26 million market cap. So people like to put people like Elon, people like Donald Trump, CZ from Binance onto Twitter trackers. And then when they tweet something that's memeable, usually pump funds pretty quick. A token then comes out on Bullex and you can try to snipe it at that point in time. But it really does help to be in a group in these types of settings because they have Twitter trackers already set up for you. If you don't have the capital to get into a group, well, first of all, I don't know if I would go burn money in the meme coin casino without an edge. Like you can try to build your own edge and be conservative and, and only get into the coins that it, meet a certain criteria. Like for me, 
I like a coin that's basically, unless I have advanced alpha, I like a coin that's migrated between about 100K, 300K market cap. I feel like that's a great entry. If it's got crazy momentum, I'll still be willing to enter around 600K to a million, but I have to have massive conviction that the sentiment, the community, the wallets I'm seeing, the groups that I'm in are all talking about the same coin, right? So my system is just kind of, I like coins that aren't complete gambles. Like they're in that 100K to 800K range. And I have to see upside to at least five mil, three mil or so. Uh, that way I can make multiples on my money, get my initials out and be able to ride those trades just in case they do go to $10 million market cap. So that's kind of the way that I play it. And the two ways you can track tweets, like I said, number one, you can join a group. And I'm even going to give you, I think one, two, three, four, five groups, four groups here today that I think are very high level that I have gotten in personally and gotten value from. But if you don't want to do that, just go build a Twitter list of all the top meme coin traders. I'm talking about like, um, you know, people like Orangey, like Shocked, JS, like uh, Frank D. Got, like just put a big list together of these top traders. So that way, every time they tweet, you also see it. But put CZ, Elon Musk, Donald Trump, Peter Schiff has been memed in the past. Like some of these big TikTok guys, they, they, they've gotten memed, right? So you can build your own Twitter list, but it really helps if like a meme guy curates it for you, which is going to lead into the last pillar of this, which is groups. So we've talked about the trading platforms. We've talked about wallet tracking. We've talked about Twitter tracking. Now let's talk about groups. So first and foremost, groups aren't perfect. Um, it is a lot of the time people shilling coins and they're already in, which is why a lot of these don't actually have callers, but they have people that are scanning pairs all at the same time. And, you know, if I wasn't in a group, I wouldn't have caught hamster fight coin, for example, like people caught it 400 K market cap. I was able to get an entry and it went to 26 mil. Like that was a crazy win, right? It was like a literally like an 80 X or so when it comes to market cap multiples. So some of the best groups that I would recommend, number one, obviously uh, we have some groups. We have TTOO, which is my NFT collection. You have lifetime access if you just jump in, 0.35 floor price, you can jump into TTOO. We have callers, we have all the tools that you need to win in the meme coin market right here in our Discord, as well as more information like my portfolio, signals, leverage trades, et cetera. So you can jump into TTOO, or you can jump over to Nexus uh, for $30 a week or $100 a month. And you can also get meme coin alpha, meme coin tools, and you get software access as well. So not only meme coin group access, you also get access into our software, which is what I use every single video here. So you can join TTOO or you can join Nexus and also get meme coin information as well as software access. But two other groups just to give, you know, I'm not, my group is great. We, we literally hit an 88 X the other day. Yesterday, there was a 25 X for people that got in early. Like we've been absolutely killing it. One of our callers in there, King Tendies, is really crushing it. But another group that I've gotten massive value from is Spider Sensei. This is by Iron Spider. He's in the Discord with the whole community six hours a day, scanning pairs, trading, etc. So, you know, this is a high level group. And this is actually where I caught Hamster Fight Coin, right? I was I was in the VC over here. I was trading with these guys and we found Hamster Fight Coin at 400K and it went up to 26 mil. So Spider Sensei, I believe it's like a two soul per month or 1.5 soul per month, something like that to get access to this group. And there's literally like a hundred people in voice chat every single day. And then last but not least on groups, I would recommend Potion Alpha. Potion Alpha is by Orangey, obviously a very popular meme coin and pump fund trader at this point in time. And uh, Potion Alpha is $50 a week and $150 per month. Now this is one of the best groups as well. They have a lot of people in the voice chat scanning every single day. So the groups I would recommend are either buying a TTOO NFT or jump over to the WAP link in the description and join Nexus as well. You can get the same meme coin information, tracking, etc. So you can do one of those two, which are my communities and we have all the stuff set up that you need to win. Or I would look at Spider Sensei for 1.5 soul per month or Potion Alpha, you can get started for just $50 a week. So those are the groups that I would implore you to take a look at. And look, the trenches aren't for everyone. So I have to say like there is passive meme coin investing. 
And if I was in the meme coin market right now, I'm investing in coins that don't have the tier ones yet. I'm investing in Mog, I'm investing in Brett, I'm investing in Fwog, because I think that these are guaranteed listings, whether it's Coinbase or Binance. Uh, Miggles, I think on base has a really good shot to get a Coinbase listing. So the passive way I would invest in these things is look at the coins that are really pumping, but don't have tier ones yet. They're gonna get crazy pumps when tier ones list them. You do not have to be in the risk on market of trench meme coins, okay? I understand it's really hard to resist when you see traders on your timeline making $100,000 on a trade. You might feel like crap. How are they doing this? I'm under allocated to meme coins. This cycle's really just getting to go, like getting going. And we have six to 12 months of this madness left. Like we're at 100K Bitcoin almost, and it doesn't feel that way, right? So I just implore you, there is a way for everyone. And the meme coin trenches that I just went over, you have to be dialed, you have to be fast, you have to be at your computer or accessible to trade 24 hours a day almost. Your sleep schedule is gonna sacrifice. Your girlfriend might be upset at you when you're on your phone trading meme coins at a dinner, not from experience or maybe from experience. No, I'm kidding. All jokes aside, trench trading meme coins is a full-time thing and it's really hard to manage this alongside everything else. So if you don't have the time to dig into groups, find the metas, find the right strategy, actively risk manage and take profits, t track wallets, track tweets, join a good group. Like I would just say passively invest into meme coins and that's what you can do. And I would look at coins that aren't on tier ones yet, but this has been the ultimate meme coin trench guide. So I'm gonna leave links down below for everything I mentioned from wallet trackers to um, the private groups to the trading platforms sign up for any of the things down below that you guys found value in or you want to give a shot because like i said it really helps to be advanced track wallets track tweets have the fastest uh, trading platforms but on top of that it does help to just be in a group and you see what others are doing and you're maybe able to catch some of these plays early so guys like the video and subscribe down below to the channel. I'll be back tomorrow with a market update to close out the week. Today we had some big news across crypto gaming, um, some stuff going on in AI, as well as I heard Gary Gensler's out the door. Uh, so a big win for crypto. I'll be back tomorrow. As always, guys, play well, my friends. Like the video, subscribe, and stay bullish. And I will see you in the trenches, my friends.